Well, I'm joined now by uh, the APS's Sharon Glotzer. Sharon, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you Happy for taking the time to talk to us. So it's the first uh, meeting of the APS subgroup on uh, soft matter. It is. Um, we just started this topical group, um, and uh, this is our very first meeting. We d we're doing our very first programming. We had uh, several hundred abstracts and uh, you know, talks, invited talks. Um, contributed talks in the area of soft matter. So that's exciting. It's very exciting. It's uh, it's something that the society's needed for a long time. Soft matter um, physicists uh, are have always been a part of the APS, but we've been spread around in, in multiple groups and divisions, which is which is great, and we continue to do that. But we needed something that would help raise our visibility and and make the programming coherent and bring the community together. But why now? Why is it come together now? Um, soft matter is one of the most rapidly growing fields of, of physics right now. Um, and uh, there's been many advances in, uh, in synthesis and characterization and theory modeling and simulation. So it's, it's just exploding right now. So it's just, it's, it's a perfect time for a new group. So you're also talking at uh, the event uh, uh, this year, aren't you? Give us uh, an idea of what you'll be speaking about. I am. I'm giving um, the, uh, the Wednesday evening lecture, they call it, free pizza and beer at 7.30. All right, well, we'll and all then, be coming then. And then followed by my talk. I may skip the beer and just go with the pizza. Um, but I'm, I'm, my, the title of my talk is Rise of the Colloidal Machines, a little play on Terminator, um, talking about uh, if we, you know, trying to make these next generation materials, what is the physics that we need? And a lot of the physics that we need really falls in the realm of, of soft matter physics. What do you see, what are some of the developments that you see coming through in that field? Well, many of the materials that, that we're seeing now are um, smart materials, materials with, with a lot of structure. So, so different than you know, wood or, or, or metal and, and, and more traditional materials. Um, uh, they're materials that are self-assembled, that are programmable, where the building blocks that make up the materials are bigger than atoms and molecules and can be functionalized um, with, with different things. So you can make hybrid materials at a building block scale and then make very highly complex materials, materials that can reconfigure, that can switch back and forth, that can, that can switch their properties, that can respond to environmental cues. So really active materials. How important is it uh, that uh, physicists within the APS actually work very closely Mostly with other professions and other groups and material scientists. Oh, it's engineers. critical. It's critical. All of the exciting developments in science and engineering are at the boundaries of the dis different disciplines, and that's actually something that's very unique about the soft matter community and the topical group on soft matter. Is that we're not just physicists. I myself, I'm a card-carrying physicist. Um, but I'm a, I'm a professor of chemical engineering at the University of Michigan. Um, so we have chemical engineers, material scientists, mathematicians, applied mathematicians, chemists. We're all part of, uh, of the community of soft matter. Well, thank you very much indeed for sharing that with us today, Sharon. Thank you. You're very welcome.